Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing another card magic trick video. And I'm just going to show you what the trick looks like, and then I'm going to show you how to do the trick. And what I'm going to do today is really simple, so yeah, let's get on to the performance. Okay, so I have these eight cards. I'm going to flip them over. So there are four kings and four queens. So you are going to memorize one of these cards, and you're not going to tell me. Just remember it in your head. So I don't have a spectator, so I'm just going to choose. Let's do Queen of Spades. So let's close it up. And we're going to just break it up into two piles. And now I'm not looking. Is your card in that pile? And well, I am looking. But if I was doing it to a spectator, I would say I'm not looking. So no, it is not in this pile. So let's do it again. Is your card in that pile? And yes, it is. Let's do it one more time. Is your card in that pile? And yes, it is. Okay. So I don't know your card, but the cards do. So I'm going to split them into two piles. And I choose this pile. I'm going to ask them, which suit was your card? They already know. And they say the card was a queen. So now I'm going to split these into two piles. I'm going to scoot them over. And I'm going to do this pile. Which color was the queen? So they say it was a black queen. Now I'm going to ask this card. Which suit was it? Was it spades or was it clubs? They say it's a spades. So in that case, if it's a black queen and it's a queen of spades, then the queen of spades is your card. Now onto the tutorial. So for this trick, you only need eight cards, which are the four kings and the four queens. So you're gonna put them both in chased order, which is like chase, C-H-A-S-E-D, and the only consonants are C H S D, so clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, C H S D. So you're gonna put the king of clubs at the bottom, and then the king of hearts, and then the king of spades, and then the king of diamonds. Do the same for the queen. So queen of clubs, queen of hearts, queen of spades, and queen of diamonds. So you're just gonna hold them out to your spectator like this, and you're gonna ask them to memorize one of the cards and not to tell you, just look at it and memorize it. So, let's say they choose the King of Hearts. So, they're keeping that in their mind, but you have no idea. And this is what you, the magician, sees. So, now you're going to turn them over, and you're going to do this thing called in-jogging and out-jogging. So, first, you're going to grab the first card, bring it down, and hold it with this hand, or your dominant hand. And then you're going to pick up the second card, like this. And you're going to bring the deck down and up and keep grabbing the cards that you're doing so now you can see there are four cards on the bottom four cards on the top you're going to squish them together and then grab the top four cards and and then you're going to show them to your spectator and you're not going to look and you're going to see if their card is in here and well you're not going to see the spectator is going to say yes or no and in this case it's yes so you have one pile and the other pile. Their card is definitely in this pile. And I made this note card. So in round one, you're going to put the pile with their card on the top. In round two, you're going to put the pile with their card on the bottom. And in round three, you're going to put the pile with their card on the top. So I'm just going to leave that right there. And then I'm going to pick these up again, how I had them. So you're going to be like that. And in this case, yes. So we know that this pile has their card. So we're going to place that on top, since it goes on top in round one. Now we're going to do the in-jogging and out-jogging thing again. Remember, the first card goes down, and the second card goes up. You're going to take out the top half, You're going to, and you're going to tell them to look. And in this case, they don't see their card. So you know that their card must be somewhere in this pile. So you're going to put that pile on the bottom. So you put this pile without their card on the top.
because round two, the pile with their card goes on the bottom. You're going to do that one more time, like this. Pull out the top cards. You're going to look. And these should all be queens, but you're not going to be looking. You're just going to show your spectator. In this case, they're not, so they must be in here somewhere. So you're going to put these on the bottom, so the pile with their card goes on the top, like in round three. And now this is all set up. So you're going to deal the first card to the left and the second card to the right. And you're just going to make two piles like that. So now you're going to talk to the pile on the right and you're going to ask them which suit your spectator's card was. So which suit, king or queen? You flip it over and it says king, which was correct. Now you're going to take this and you're going to deal from left to right. I'm going to scoot this over again. You shouldn't do that in a trick unless you don't have room. And you're going to keep dealing from left to right. Now you're going to ask the middle pile, and you're going to ask it which color. Is it black or red? And they say it was red. So now, you can just leave it like that, and you can slide the top card to the left. And you can ask this pile, or this card, which suit it was heart or diamond and if this card said it was black then you're going to ask spades or clubs and you're going to flip it over in this case it says heart so then you're going to pick up this last card and you're going to say something like this since the card said your card was a king that was red and it was of hearts then your card must be the king of hearts and in this case that's true and yeah the cards have found your spectator's card so yeah. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up button to let me know that you liked it. Please share the video with friends, and if you have any requests for any videos you'd like me to make, then please comment them down below, and I will try to make a video for all the requests that you make. I'll see you next time. Bye!